All right, here's a fun video by request. This is Animal Crossing's New Horizons, the trumpet cover. Take a look at the first phrase. You're gonna notice the key signature has F sharp in it. F sharp is second valve. Let's take a look at the first couple of notes. So we have a B natural, second valve. And if you look at the top, you can see the fingerings written there. You can see a B natural and it goes to a G natural. And then you're gonna jump up to another open note. That's the E. And that's followed by a D, which is first valve. So the first three notes are B, G, E. And then after you play the D, we have another B, G, E down an octave. So the first three notes. And then those three notes, B, G, E. You can see it's similar, you see the pattern. So if we put it all together, I haven't added the A yet. So when we're counting that off, you're coming in on the upbeat of one. One, two, three, four, one. After that, we have the A. So you just leave one and two down for that last note. You're coming from an E, you're going up to an A, so that your one and two stays put. Let's add that. One, two, three, four, one. Now let's take a look at the next part. It starts on a G, which is open. It goes up the scale to an A, up the scale again to a B. And you can tongue the B natural. Then it goes from the B up to G. Okay, if this is a little bit high for you, you can always try taking it down an octave. After that, we have the F sharp we talked about at the beginning. It's gonna be second valve. Above the F sharp, we have a G that's gonna be open. Again, look at the fingerings. And then we have a first valve D after that. Let's put it all together. And you hold that out for four counts, four and a half counts, whatever. Now the next part, it's very similar to what we did at the beginning. The only difference is we have a grace note. A grace note is a note that you play very, very quickly before the note you're going to. And that's the only difference between the first part and those two measures. And then at the end of the phrase, you're going to play. You're gonna find that that's the same thing they did at the beginning. So we're just repeating ourselves at this point. So at the beginning, make sure you're coming in on the upbeat of one. That same phrase repeats itself later on in the song. So it's the same fingering, same rule. You just add the grace note. After that section, you're going up the, the scale GAB and it skips up to E just like it did before. And then you rest for four measures. When we come back into the song, it's similar to the beginning. Same fingerings, B, G, E, D, B, G, E, just like before. The rhythm's a little bit different, so pay attention. Comes in on an upbeat and one. Okay? And then we add the grace note. And one. But again, it's similar to what we did at the beginning. The only difference is we're not playing D as a quarter note. We're playing it as an eighth note going quickly to the B. And then 
G, and then E, and then we have another grace note. So the rhythm's slightly different than it was at the beginning. But the grace note's going to be the same, and the notes are all the same. After that, we have the same B, G, E, D. The rhythm changes again. The notes are the same, but here we have quarter notes. And one. Now at this point, we have an octave jump from the low G to the high G above the staff. If it's helpful, you can take this part down an octave so you hear what it sounds like. I'll show you that one more time. Take a look at the piece, you can see the fingerings. G is open, F sharp is second. E is open, D natural is first valve. We go back to D. So I'll show you that rhythm all together, starting on that D dotted quarter note. And then guess what? We do it again. And that's the thing you're going to notice about this piece, it repeats. So once you learn something, it'll come in handy a little bit later. It's like a two for one special. So we do it twice. Now take a look at the fingerings here. A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, and we have a high B. So look at the fingerings. The A sharp is first valve, the B is second, and you can just run that a few times to get used to it. Add the C sharp, which is one and two. D sharp is second. F sharp is also second, so you leave it down for an extra note. And then we go all the way up to the high B. Now, if you have trouble with range, you can take the whole thing down an octave. Then try playing it up an octave. And then the next note is another B. I played it just briefly so you could hear that it's the same note down an octave. That sound familiar? Just like we did at the beginning, it's a similar theme. Here we have something a little bit different. These are 16th notes. Let me show you how to count it. After you play through here, going to play E, G, A, and the E, G goes quickly. And then you finish with the section. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If you like the video, like and subscribe. I can do more. If you have any requests, let me know and I can put something else together for you. Uh, I'm not going to say who requested this piece, but I hope you enjoy it. If you don't, uh, I guess I'll hear about it. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope you like it. If you have any issue with playing through here, if you have trouble with range, if you have trouble with articulation or playing these rhythms, you'll let me know. I can address these issues. I also teach lessons. If you want to get together online for a one-on-one -on -one lesson, let me know. And thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. Bye.